What's good? What's good? Hey, I'm back with another video today, man. Like, I just want to make this one short and sweet. Now, earlier today, I watched a video. Well, actually, an interview. It was Southside. He was doing an interview with I Sox or, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bootleg Kev. So, he asked him in the interview. Well, really, Southside just gave his interjection. He was just talking about how he really didn't like beat stars because of a situation a producer he knew went through. So, a producer had sold a beat exclusively to Moray. So, he got $1,000 for the beat, but at the same time, you got to think about it. How big Moray is, he's getting no residuals from selling this beat exclusively. Right? So, personally, me, I don't sell any of my beats full out exclusive. So if you go to my website, djfreebeats.com, I'm going to drop the uh, website below. You know I always do that. But I'm going to drop the website below. You go check out some of my beats or whatever. Producers, y'all can check it out too. Just see how I do it. But yeah. So I don't do any of my beats all the way exclusive. What I do is called an exclusive split. So exclusive split is if you get the beat and you buy it out completely and you know you're going to release that song, we will do a... 50-50 split as far as streaming goes. Now, if you want to get your, uh, just say, you sell your beat, well, not your beat, you sell your song on iTunes or whatever, any platform, other platform you want, and somebody buys that song outright, whatever you sell it for, a dollar, ten dollar, you know, if you're doing a whole album, it might be ten dollars. But if you sell that, you will get 100% of that, of those sales. Now the industry standard, industry standard is like two percent for producers on that part. But you know, two percent I just let you have the whole hundred percent, and we'll do fifty fifty split as far as streaming goes, publishing goes. So if you get on the radio, it'll be fifty fifty all of that, and we'll just do that through BMI. Now I know BMI it made it a little bit easier lately. All we would have to do is you have my number. You know, you get BMI assigns you a number. You have my number, I got your number, we can put it in the system. I get my 100% of the music, you get your 100% of the lyrics. Right? So we we'll split it just like that. Um, now, the reason why I actually use my own website, I'm going to drop the link to how I did it too. It's the Music Maker theme uh, website. That's what you need to go through to get your beat store customized all the way completely yours. You know what I'm saying? So on that theme, it's basically what BeatStar does for you. They just give you the way to drop your beats in there. You can customize it a little bit, you know. It's a little different, but it's basically the same kind of thing. It's You know, I'm using WordPress. Now, the only thing is I had to pay, I think the theme was like $100 or something like that. I can't remember. It was something like that. It wasn't that much. But you'll make that back in, in you know, in the long run. So I bought that, and I bought my hosting, and I bought my domain name. So the hosting is like $17 a month. I go through Just Host, which formerly was eHost. I think I think it was something like eHost or something like that. But, yeah, I go through Just Host, and, yeah, that, like I said, that is $17 a month, and my domain name it's like ten dollars a year through GoDaddy, so you get those two things. So you can, you know, you have to have something where you can have hosting, you so your beats can be stored online. Like you need some kind of storage. Okay, so yeah, I'm back. So yeah, like I was saying, like what Southside said about how Moray purchased this beat for exclusive rights, and it was, you know, he just made that, and that was it. You know, you'd be able to be in control of how you do your uh your deals. Now, I'm not I don't know if like B stars has a certain thing every producer has to adhere to as far as their rules go, but it might be something like that. But yeah. If I was you, you know, up and coming producers, you never know what beat could be that beat and just get you on the map. You know, go in there and do something similar to like what I did. Like do it do splits. Don't you don't have to do exclusive rights where you give away all of your rights to the song completely. Um, so, you know, and like I was saying, you have more than just, 
a beats page too. So on my website, I actually have like my contact page where people who want to get in the studio that look up my business on Google can go to that and they can book studio sessions and all of that right from that website too. And I have like my drum kits and stuff on the website as a page. Cause you can add as many pages as you want or whatever, you know, you can, you can have a whole merch store on there and have all of your, the pictures of your stuff and have them for sale and all it'll be linked to your PayPal. So it's really like an all in one thing for anyone, you know, you, even if you're not selling beats, but it is geared towards selling beats. Like it is going to have that beat store on there. Like, but you could use the whole thing as a, as a replacement for like Shopify or something. If you was into something like that, but you know, so yeah, that's, that's really my reason why I feel like we should get away from using third parties like beat stars and stuff. If you have to, you know, if you can't make up the rules and stuff of how you want things to be. But yeah, um, like I said, I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna drop the um, the website in the description of the music maker thing, and I'm gonna drop my website so y'all can just see how I got my set up and all of that. You know, you can get your you can get your Twitter feed, you can get your um, IG, all of that on the sides and stuff, make it look all professional. You also got landing free landing pages on there too, so. If you go to my website, like I do have like, it's not actually a landing page, but it's like, if you go on my website, you might see a little drop down and it'd be like, put your email in right there. And now that's for like, just say I'm running some deals on some beats or something. I might have some free downloads or something, or just drop some, you know, I'm gonna be dropping a beat almost every day. But yeah, if I got something special going on, you can join my email list and I have like all the info sent to your email. All you gotta do is sign up right there you know it's nothing it's free all of it 